In the wake of some of the nation's and local protests following the George Floyd killing at the hands of police in Minneapolis, a number of departments from San Francisco to Philadelphia are moving to defund police departments. So what exactly does defunding police mean? Does it mean getting rid of officers, getting rid of vehicles like this SWAT vehicle? And if so, where does the money go? According to the nonpartisan Brookings Institution, defund the police means reallocating or redirecting funding away from the police department to other government agencies. Advocates say shifting funding to social services that can improve things such as mental health, addiction and homelessness is a better use of taxpayer money. It does not mean eliminating police or shutting down 911 dispatch. I talked with the candidates for Orange County Sheriff about defunding the office, which currently has 1,700 deputies and 2,500 total employees under a budget of $266 million. Sheriff John Mina is proposing an increase to $281 million and, with federal grant money, plans to add 20 deputies. He's in favor of adding social workers, but not at the expense of hiring deputies. Yes, I agree that those uh, services need to be properly funded, but not at the expense of the safety of this community. So if we're taking uh, deputies off the street um, to fund those social services, uh, I think our residents aren't going to be too happy with that. Attorney Andrew Darling says social and mental health workers need to come first. I don't think we're going to be in, in need of 100 more deputies before we hire social workers and mental health professionals. And one of the things I would like to do is I would like to make the pay of our deputies actually competitive with other local agencies. Former Florida Highway Patrol Troop Commander Joe Lopez and the other Democratic candidates like Mina say more deputies are the priority. Well, one of the things that I want to do is bring in social workers, police social workers, and help out law enforcement because the law enforcement, we're not trained how to deal with the, the, the psyche of what's going on in a domestic violence situation. So if we can save a life and bring in somebody to intervene before that happens, I think that's a win-win situation. And you're gonna have a delay in services, and that is what defunding police will, will bring about, a lot of delays, and your, your manpower is going to be short. You're gonna have not enough, not enough officers to, to deal with large crowds, and in, the Orlando Central Florida area, that is definitely not a good idea. It's just not, um, you know, feasible in a sense of, you know, complete defunding of a police organization. We need police to keep us safe and uh, protect us. However, we don't feel like we need the militarization of the police, and I think that's where the issue comes in. In the end, voters will decide which Democratic candidate has the best vision to balance public safety with a growing movement to change police practices across the U.S. Greg Fox, West 2 News. The winner of the.